Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In today's video we're gonna be talking about two things. The first thing is gonna I'm gonna show you how to train your own face model, dot safe tensor model, of any face you want, and save it as a face model dot safe tensor. And the second thing it was a question in the comments actually. Uh, the question was if we have a, a previous image like this one for example and we have a face and we want to impose this face onto this image so it's technically image to image face swap so this is what we're going to be talking about today so we have the face of her here on this image now so this is what we're going to be talking about so let's start with this uh, first things first first I have generated this is just a generator K sampler that generates images and saves them into the preview here and saves them into this folder actually face swap video and this is the image that we generated I'm using SD 1.5 so we got a messed up face that's perfect <laughs> we need the messed up face uh, so that we can fix it so we got we got this messed up face so now we have an image so we go to the second workflow and we load the image here as you can see this is the image and we need to, there are two things that you need to replicate a pre-existing image. The first thing is the textual th side of things, and the second thing is the latent side of things. So the textual, the latent side of things is we're going to take this image, we're going to encode it, and take the latent output and input it into the K sampler, as you can see here. So this is the latent side of things. The textual side of things is that we need to, the positive prompt that is going into the apply control net, we need to describe the image here as much as possible in the prompt. So this is a pre-existing image, it doesn't have a prompt, so you have to describe it. In later videos I'm going to be showing you how to automate this, but for now you need to describe it as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as much as you can. So you can read the uh, uh, prompt that I have here to describe it. And the canny, I'm using canny edge, as you can see, control net. If you didn't watch the control net video, make sure to watch it after this. So this is the apply control net. We're using the canny edge SD 1.5 and the canny edge preprocessor to generate this image here, which is a rough estimate of the lines that it, that are drawing uh, this pre-existing image. If you if you want more details you can play with these settings low threshold high threshold and get more details or less details as you like. So this apply control net takes the description that you generated here in the prompt, takes it into the positive prompt and input it into the case sampler from here. And also, it will impose this canny edge image into the prompt as well. So even if you did a really bad job in the uh, image description here, still you, uh, the canny edge will save the day and uh, you know get you a really a close estimate of the image here. Once the case sampler produces the image. Uh, I'm trying to explain what's going on so that you guys can, you know, like understand what's happening uh, a little better. So the K sampler generates the image and the output of the image is going into the reactor face swap. This, there's a video on this as well in the playlist, make sure to check that out. So we're loading the image of the face that we need into the source image and the output of the case sampler, the new image, into the input image here. And after that, we're just saving it to a folder with face swap 2 and previewing the image here. So let's run this and see what we get. And uh, it's going to generate a new image in the K sampler. The canny edge image is already uh, generated, so it didn't generate a new image for that. And now it's just generating a replica 
of the original image, which is this one. So here, it's, uh, you know, you see the face is messed up. Here, it's going to probably fix the face. And then after that, we're just going to swap the face with this face. And this is going to be the resulting image here. This is a previous uh, swap. So as you can see, there's a really close resemblance between this face and her face. So we're doing a good job at this with this workflow. And I'm going to be leaving this uh, workflow at my at the description below in the video. Probably just uh, maybe 20 minutes after uploading the video, I'll be adding it. As you can see we have a really nice uh, resemblance of the face. Uh, no problems or like, uh, as you can see, the face is fixed and replaced and looks really nice. And now I'm going to show you how to train face models in a really, really easy way. So the main node here to train your faces is the reactor face, uh, fast face swap, same uh, node that we have used. And uh, the way to do this is that this is the origin, the image that we wanted to change. This is the face. We input it, input source just the same setup that we did before the new thing is this load face model there is face one dot safe tensor and there is the save face model reactor uh, you just input the name here face one and enable it on and get get it into the input of the uh, face model then I'm using this to save the images, and this is what we produce. So let's hit generate here. And as you can see, we generate an image with her face again. But this time it's really fast. So, uh, and what happens is that once you generate, you have the input and everything, you'll have the model here. So you have face one dot safe tensor with her face. So if you want to add more faces into this model, you can add new images of her face here and just hit generate, 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 generate and have the input model and output model connected alone to this uh, node and you'll have your face model. So any face you want, you can train it this way and then just use the model instead of the source images. So this is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe uh, for future videos. I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff concerning Comfy UI and other AI related uh, software. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.